when the, this, this uh, amendment was passed. And so no reason why you should be able to buy certain assault weapons, but that's another issue. And uh, look, one of the things that we focused on, the Attorney General and I, and we're getting to the point where I think we're going to be able to have a real impact on it, includes going after ghost guns. Ghost guns are the guns everyone in this room knows that can be purchased in parts, assembled at home, no serial number, and can't be traced. And they're as deadly as any other weapon out there. But the fact is, they are out there. And, you know, this spring, the Justice Department, this spring, the Justice Department will issue a final rule to regulate these so-called ghost guns. But there's more we can do. Across the country, police departments report sharp increases in the number of ghost guns found at crime scenes. That's why today the department is launching an, an intensified national ghost gun enforcement initiative to determine and deter criminals from using those weapons to cover their tracks. If you commit a crime with a ghost gun, not only are state and local prosecutors going to come after you, but expect federal charges and federal prosecution as well.